Girl Show has been a tradition for 70 years, but for the past 13 years it has been broadcasted live to viewers at home, thanks to two media teachers and a select group of students who make up the PVTV crew. The various jobs given to the students include switcher, audio, camera, producer, the host, and the stage managers. For a lot of the students that take part in Girl Show, it's their first time using a camera or their first time being on a live production or any production in general. So it takes time to start getting used to the gear and to understand what a production is and how we go in and do the process of production. So we have workshops for the students to come in and other students like myself and John Giannotti and Mike Rufino. We sort of do a presentation with the students explaining them how to use the camera, how to set up a tripod. So the director and I get together and she tells me what packages we're going to be doing and then we come up with the script and we figure out what the hosts are going to be saying that night and who we're going to be interviewing. Ready, set, go. Good evening and welcome to Girl Show 2016. I'm Kyra Abdurakwan and these are my co-hosts, Brianna Cielo and Francesca Carr. We had about two to three rehearsals per day leading up to the day of Girl Show. And the day of Girl Show, we ran like crazy. It was constant practicing, making sure we were comfortable with what we were interviewing, making sure we were comfortable with the script. We came in knowing the script already, so it made it a lot easier on the director and the stage managers and all the camera people. The days leading up to Girl Show and the day of, we had stand-ins for our interviewees and we were in places just like we normally would. We blocked out everywhere where we were going to be moving, where the cameras were going to be facing, who we were interviewing at what times. It's your job to interview them right after they're done with the performance. How are you going to do so? Well, pretty much I have the stage managers helping me. They have to make sure the girls have water and make sure that they get their inhaler if they need it right before. With all the costume and the makeup they have on, it's really difficult to find them, but we have to make sure we have their, the eye the two heads and make sure they get in front of the camera with me so I can interview them. So for Girl Show, we usually have a bunch of different cameras. We have scaffold cameras, we have static cameras and roaming cameras, and all those combined really add to the show and add a variety of the shots. So during like the actual viewing of the show. You don't really just have one shot where you kind of get bored. We get to switch around and you get different angles and you get all the girls, you get to see everyone. Like the mothers are happy because they get to see their daughters and all different angles. So for the roaming cameras, those cameras give the students a little bit more creative uh, freedom so they can go and get shots, walk around, get low shots, high shots, side shots, whatever they really want. Throughout the night we had two other roaming cameras that weren't live, that was myself and Iron Fitzpatrick. We had um, our own Sony cameras that we were using to get other variety of shots that we were using in the final edit. So for most of the night I was in the control room and basically with the switcher and director and although there was tension builds up during Girl Show night, it was really what made it run smoothly and I basically just helped out the switcher know what shots to get, tell the camera people where to get their shots and how to get their shots, and just make sure the whole night runs smoothly. The show went amazing. Can you tell me if you had any complications? Um, yeah, we had a couple complications. Some cameras went in and out. Uh, some of the audio kind of went in and out sometimes, but we got it together and we put on a great show, I think. Well, the biggest success of the night was just getting through the night. We got through it. We put on a great pre-show. The entire show went smoothly, and I'm really proud of my crew. I couldn't thank them enough. This experience teaches students various skills that they can use in the future whether they want to go into a media career or not.